Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial, a bag tutorial this time, and it's a wavy pattern on the bag instead of checkered. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and Pinterest, so I figured out how to make it, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it as well. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do make this, make sure to tag me on Instagram at loop by Ali, and, and let me know in the comments what colors you're going to make yours and who you're making it for. Now let's get into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll need cotton or acrylic yarn. I'm using the Lily Sugar and Cream in the color Hot Orange and acrylic yarn Bernat Premium Yarn in the color Sky Blue. You'll also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors. These are my favorite. They're from Darn Good Yarn. And then a yarning needle, depending on how you want to sew the size of the bag together. I always start with the lighter color, so I'm guessing both of them are pretty vibrant. I'm going to start with the blue color. We're going to start by chaining 46. And I just got my nails done, and it's really hard to crochet with them. So don't mind me. I don't get how cro people crochet with long nails. So I'm going to chain 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, forty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100,
flip the project over and I'm going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then you want to change colors so I'm changing to my blue color and then do four half double crochets with this color so basically here you're only doing you're moved over by two stitches because we're gonna end here and then switch colors after you do four half double crochets switch to an orange and then do four half double crochets and do this until the end of the row so once you're at the end of the row you want to switch to your other color so now I'm at my orange chain one flip over your project and now you're going to start with a orange half double crochet and then do one more half double crochet and then switch to your other color. So I want to start my first blue stitch on the last blue stitch here before it changes to the other color. One, two, three, four, and then switch colors. So same with this. So switch colors every four half double crochets until the end of the row and I'll meet you back there. We are back at the end of the row and I'm going to switch colors again. So I'm working with blue. So switch to your other color. I'm switching to orange and then chain one. Flip it over. And now I just want to half double crochet until I reach the first stitch of the orange on the previous row. So I'm only doing three half double crochets until I reach this first stitch in the orange and then I switch to my second color and here you can kind of start seeing the pattern appear of it being wavy so switch to my second color and then I crochet four again oops until I hit that first blue of the next set and then I switch so again crochet four half double crochets of each color alternating and I'll meet you at the end of the row okay now I'm at the end of the row and I switch to blue so I'm going to do that last stitch And I'm not going to switch the color this time. I'm just going to stick with blue, chain one, flip it over. So now I'm going to crochet three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And now switch to your orange yarn or your second color switch that color and then do four half double crochets until it reaches the second stitch of the blue so one two three four and then here switch colors and continue four half double crochets alternating I'm back at the end of the row and I'm actually going to switch to the other color this time. So pull through the other color, chain one, flip it over. And then I'm going to half double crochet four. And right before that last blue, stitch I'm going to oh it's so out of focus <laughs> I'm gonna switch colors and then half double crochet four for each color again until the end of the row and this for reference is what it's supposed to look like so far at the end of this row keep the color so you can pull that blue through chain one and then flip it over and now you just want to half double crochet three only three two and three and after you crocheted those 
three, switch to your other color. Mine is orange. And then continue crocheting four, switch colors, four. And then I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of this row, you can just keep the same color. Chain one, flip. Now half double crochet three. So one, two, and three. And on the third one, switch colors. And now again, switch colors every four half double crochets till the end of the row. So on your last one, you can change to an orange and then chain one, flip over your project and only half double crochet two. So one and two, and then now switch yarn colors. And now you know the drill, every four switch colors. Now repeat the pattern I just taught you by going back to the eighth row and just repeating that process until the 13th row and keep doing that until you reach 26 rows. And it's really up to you. You can make the bag bigger if you want, but I personally like the length of 26 rows. Once you have 26 rows of this pattern, you can start making the handle part. So I'm gonna start and just continue with the pattern, but first you're just going to crochet only 12 stitches across. Okay. Okay, once you finish this row, um, chain one, flip it over, and then now you want to decrease. Decrease. And if you're not sure how to decrease, I'll leave some tutorial links down below so you can follow those. And just continue to do the same pattern that we did for the rest of the bag and just try to make it continuous up this handle part. So continue with this pattern, um, always decreasing on this side until you have a total of six stitches here. So this is the finished handle strap on this side. 
So as you can see, I just kept decreasing, decreasing on this side while doing the same pattern throughout. And then I ended up with six stitches at the end. Now we'll start on the other side. So I'm going to take orange. So count 12 stitches from the outer end and mine will end up here. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's this third orange here. So just make a slip knot. Oh my goodness, I've had these nails for like 11 days now and it's still so hard to crochet with them. Okay, and insert your hook, or I like to just build it so you can yarn over and just hold this part with your thumb and middle finger and then insert it into the stitch and then crochet like normal and you really want to make sure it's tight so just like that and bring this loose thread to the back so you can just crochet over it so So like the other side, you want to keep doing this along with the pattern that you learned and decrease on the inside until you reach six stitches at the top and I will meet you back there. Okay, now I have six remaining stitches so I'm just going to end it off now. I could just put these together like that, cut the excess. Pull it through, tighten the one strand that is actually attached, like that. And then I just like to triple knot this together. Now you should have something that looks like this, so you can see the wavy pattern. And just repeat that one more time. And then once you're done two sides, you lay them against each other, right sides together, and then just sew around the edges. I'm going to use the orange yarn all the way around and instead of using a darning needle I'm going to use just a single crochet around the entire thing I just think it gives it a cleaner look but you can also use a darning needle if you don't have that much yarn left so I start at one end I like to just tie them together I just twist the two sides and then just do a quick double knot to secure it just like that and you have your slip knot on your crochet hook already and you're just going to want to go through And try to get the most outer edge part to avoid seeing the thread on the inside. Yeah. Now continue doing this across the entire bag till you reach this end. So I have just cro single crocheted around the entire border. This is what it looks like. Now I can just flip it inside out. Beautiful. And now the last step we need to do is create the handle. So I'm going to start, since we ended up with six and six, uh, I'm gonna do 12 here as the width. It just get, makes it more sturdy. And if you want, you can make it thinner towards the middle or anything you want just to change the style up a bit. So it's kind of weird because they're going in like random directions. It's not really cohesive. So you can just start with whatever pattern you want. I'm going to start with on this side. So this is going this way already. And then I'm just going to make it go this way. So I'm going to grab the blue yarn first. Make a slip knot. 
yarn over once, then insert the hook. Two, three, and then I'm going to switch to an orange. So I just made a slip knot with the orange. Now I'm changing the color. Okay, so that's the first row of the handle. Continue until you have this many rows, and then I'll show you how to attach it on the other side. This is what my 40 rows looks like. Looks really good. So now I'm just going to attach it to the other side. So it should fit like this. So you wanna put the right sides together, and so you're kind of flipping it. So you'll have this. So if you wanna see again, this is how it's actually going to be, but then you want to flip so it's the right sides together, like that. And you still have this working yarn, but you can actually just cut one of them off. So uh, this is, the blue one is what I'm working with right now. So I'm just going to end that. Just get a pair of scissors. Cut that off. And now that's secure. So now I just have this orange thread. And that's what I'm going to use to combine these sides together. I'm going to try to catch these random threads too while I crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook into the side that doesn't have the string. And then insert it into the side that does have the string. And then just pull it through. I mean pull the yarn through. You can see that. Now you have a working loop and try to catch all the excess threads as you continue. So single crochet across the 12 stitches. That last stitch, perfect, and then just finish it off. Now you should have a nice attached handle and you are done. So this is what your final bag will look like with the handle. And I just like to have it this wide because it's more sturdy. Uh, but you can totally make the handle thinner and whatever you like. This is the finished one. I'm so excited to use it. So I hope you guys were able to follow along easily. Let me know any questions you have below. Let me know how it went. If you're gonna make it or if you were just watching this tutorial for fun, I'm not sure. I haven't actually made it yet, so I'm excited to see the final product myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in many more and I'll see you next time. Bye!